Brendan Schaub has canceled his European tour. Evidently, all the DAs in Europe were recalled. Um, so, once again, completely embarrassing. To For months now, Ben have been promoting five tour dates in Europe and having to cancel every single one of them. We are at a point and have been at a point for over a year where Brendan Schaub pays to do stand-up comedy. He does not make money from stand-up comedy. He pays to do stand-up comedy. He lost money doing this as he loses money in every stand-up comedy thing he does. When Brendan Schaub like uh, goes to some little club in like Michigan or something, that's not that club's booker reaching out to Brendan Schaub. No, Brendan Schaub has his management team reach out to these clubs to book him and to split the profits on ticket sales. He never sells out. Henceforth, with the flights and hotels and paying his management, he spends money flying around the country to do stand-up comedy. And with his European tour, oh boy, he had to have rented out, I think these were theaters, by the way. Um, so he rented out theaters, couldn't sell any tickets, but he still has to pay that deposit um, and then he had to cancel the shows because it doesn't justify flying out to Europe, staying in Europe for the week, and spending all extra money on um, thing on an event that tickets weren't sold to. So it's been this way for over a year. Mister, I'm going to bet on myself completely failed. It, it dawned on me when he filed the lawsuit because I was thinking, why would this idiot file a lawsuit when he's obviously going to lose a thing? I'm starting to now believe he might actually need the money. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure all of his money is gone now, and he's just plainly using daddy's money, which is why he had to fly in his father to co-sign to buy a Ferrari. To never forget, his dad is a multi-millionaire. I'm talking about a bunch of money. One of the guys who sold off an internet company during the whole internet bubble thing. But at this point, I mean, his podcast is dead. His two co-hosts are accused of what they're accused of. He dropped the worst comedy special and then followed up with the Gringo Poppy, the even worse comedy special. He can't sell tickets. He's suing YouTubers. It, it, it's pretty much done. This Brendan Schaub thing is, we're almost at the precipice. Uh, when the lawsuit is officially over, and I get to finally say all the amazing things that happened <laughs> behind the scenes and the discussions and offers and everything that was said to me by his lawyers, and all the discovery stuff comes out, that, that's when it will officially be over. And when this dummy who sued me actually is going to end up having to pay me, then it'll probably around then be officially over because then I, me and everybody else would have just lost interest. But, uh, I mean, this guy can't even get into Joe Rogan's club and Rogan's his buddy. Even Rogan's like, yeah, dude, I'm not having you at my club. You're not funny. Rogan needs to have another conversation with this dude, man. Admit, and not behind the scenes. You're going to have to sit this dude down like you did, Rogan, to convince him to stop fighting. And you're going to convince this dude to stop doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> because he is not good at it. He's terrible. He's so unself aware. I mean, think about it. This dummy really tried selling tickets to a European tour. He can't sell out a Yuck Yucks 
in Indiana. And this dummy tried selling out theater shows overseas. And what was he going to do? His Mexican jokes? I, 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 I don't understand. <laughs> what was he thinking? What were the people... Now, like I said, I, there's a bunch of stuff I can't discuss until this lawsuit is officially over. But let me just say this. My thought, and this is just a thought I have, I can't confirm this yet, is that everyone around Brendan Schaub uh, representing him are completely taking advantage of this idiot and not telling him the truth. And uh, (laughs) this is just the sense I get. (laughs) Hell, (laughs) I, I can't wait to tell this story. But let's just say some of the people who represent him don't even know his name. They just know they're getting money from his father. And uh, so he is that completely self unaware. But the people around him, too, are also not telling him the truth in anything because they're just trying to get to his dad's money. And that's all stupid has to offer is his dad's money. Think about it. Why is Chris D'Elia doing a podcast with uh, Shab and Eric Griffin? Chris D'Elia's podcast by himself is bigger than that one. It's because Brendan Shab is paying him. Brendan Shab makes, like I said, he pays money to do stand-up comedy. He pays money to do podcasting, too. That golden hour, whatever money that makes, which isn't that much, Between paying off Chris, Eric, the salaries of the guys, his management, and then the rent for the studio, like I said, it cost him money. And this dummy will just sit there and say, I'm sure I think I'm shadow banned. And by the way, I think he really thinks he is shadow banned. Because like I said, the people around him who are taking advantage of the idiot, that's probably what they told him. No one's ever sat this dude down and said, hey, dude, you're not funny. Nobody likes you, and there's a reason for it. Stop being the way you are. When dummy spends a bunch of money and there's no return, the response to it back to him from people who work with him are, must be shadow banned, B. You're, you're hilarious. you got amazing talent. It's, it's the haters, man. It's the haters. It, it, it truly is pathetic. <laughs> like I said, when this lawsuit's officially over, oh my God, the stories I've got to tell. Oh my God. Oh, this one, this is a really, really great one. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one that I can tell. I'll just say this. Let's say there was a conference. No, you know, I can't even say that. I can't even say that yet. But um, let's just say during a lawsuit, certain words get used that are associated within Chavanese, but when they're used in their regular everyday context by judges or something, like, you know, and the lawsuit is involving Renan Job, you're like, are they saying this not knowing? What, that they're doing the bit <laughs> and me just secretly laughing on the inside during all of it. it, it it's funny. It's funny. It's hilarious to me. But <laughs> yeah, so stupid had to cancel all of the European tour. Ugh. He's going to miss out on the Addies and Baddies in Ireland now. He wanted some Irish Addies and Baddies. <laughs> This dude is a joke. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments.